Tucked away in the northeast of China is the district of Daidai He, where top Chinese politicians gather annually to discuss the political and the social scenarios in China, and that's where the political bargaining happens. And this year is an important year where we'll have to see how Xi Jinping manages to secure the third term, though we know that his possibility of staying in power is quite high, but we don't know how the other positions around him will be managed. And that's the question a lot of the China watchers are currently analyzing. The reason many China watchers are analyzing this year's meeting in Beidai He is because there's an important event coming up in October or early November, that's the Party Congress. And the Party Congress only happens twice in a decade. And this Party Congress is especially important because we will see if she manages to secure the third term. And this year, we will also be able to understand how the bargaining of power within the top Politburo Standing Committee is working, because we don't know who's going to be the next premier, as Li Keqiang, who's the premier at the moment, is likely to retire. And that whole process in the past could be predicted by looking at the age of the politician as well as their work experience but that formula does not apply anymore because the kind of personalities that Xi Jinping has promoted over the last few years are individuals who are close to him or they are some of the individuals who have worked with him in the past and that's the formula that a lot of China watchers are currently using to understand who could be the next premier or who could go into the Politburo Standing Committee. One of the individuals that people consider to be the likely candidate for the next premiership of China is Hu Chunhua. Hu Chunhua is an important figure in China. He has served on various roles such as vice premiership and he started his career in the Communist Youth League in Tibet where he served on various roles and that itself has important implications for India where he's had important ties with the Indian politicians. He's met uh, the former president Pranam Mukherjee as well as some other leading politicians and Hu Chunhua who could become the next premier will bring a different sort of personality to the role as the current mix of politicians who are around Xi Jinping are very much his strong allies. On the other hand, who comes from a background which is the League faction. The League faction is part of the Communist Youth League and these individuals who are part of the Youth League are not exactly allies of Xi Jinping and therefore if he manages to become the next premier that will signal that there is some sort of power bargaining still functioning at the top of the Politburo at the Standing Committee and that power bargain ensures that Xi Jinping does not quite control the whole process and this signal is important that many China watchers will look for when the Party Congress happens later this year. Another important figure that a lot of China watchers are looking at is Chen Minyar, who is considered Xi Jinping's protege. He's had close ties with Xi Jinping since the days he was in Zhejiang, and that is when he helped Xi Jinping write the uh, articles in Zhejiang Daily and that's eventually what led to Xi Jinping's ride, rise to the national politics and we know for a fact that Chen has been sometimes discussed as somebody who could replace Xi in the future but all of these are speculations that are circulating at the moment. Um, other figures like Li Xi who is currently the party secretary of Guangdong province could also enter the Politburo Standing Committee and these are the kinds of figures who've had close ties with Xi Jinping and that's what makes them important in the Chinese political process. Unlike in the past where we had, um, you know, issues like, you know, if they were working well, 